It's now been half a year since I started working as a fire engineer, and during that time I had a total of 53 projects, ranging from smaller projects like sheds and offices, to shopping centers and health clinics, and here are some of my thoughts. For my first day at work, I got a quick introduction to the basic commands in AutoCAD and the company's routines, and was then handed the CAD drawings of a new building. I got a few minutes to look at it before having a meeting with my coworker without really knowing anything about consultant work whatsoever, where the drawings was for a new two-story shopping center with a two-story parking garage, and this was going to be my first ever project. That specific project quite literally just started digging just around a month ago, which got me understanding of how long the pre-building process of new buildings actually take. Now that I got quite a routine built, I start every new project by going through the plans of the building, seeing its location in comparison to other buildings, as well as the distance to the closest fire department. I then instantly start to sketch out the ideas of how the fire protection strategy could be made as efficiently as possible with my knowledge of the pre-accepted rule sets from the regulations before even writing a single word in the report. After sketching up the drawings, I get it up in the report, writing down the criteria given for the specific risk category that the building is set in, using the regulation's 17 chapters on fire safety, ranging from building's load-bearing capacity to securing the safety of the fire department in an emergency situation. If there's some parts of the regulation that seems a bit redundant for the specific buildings, or even hard to achieve, it might be needed to do some extra analysis, calculations, or simulations to prove that the fire safety of the building is achieved without that specific criteria. So far, during my 53 projects, Projects, there's been the need to do that for 60% of them, so it's quite a common practice. Doing this involves doing some other measures, such as the installment of sprinkler systems where it's not technically a requirement, direct alarm to the fire departments, or just passive measures that will just secure a quick egress of the building, but I think I'll dive more into that in a different video. It gets quite hard to keep track of all the projects, as in a busy day you might work on up towards 10 different projects at the same time. So to stay organized, I got a folder with shortcuts to all my projects, links from our work database, while also typing up the progress of each project onto my personal Notion page or OneNote. When I first started, I was very afraid to do any mistakes as a slight mishap from my part might result in an unsafe construction being built, but luckily our internal quality control ensures that there's at least three engineers on each project. So one creates the product, one does a thorough quality control, and a third person evaluates the quality control as the final step before the project is sent out to a customer. If it's a more complicated project where some of the solutions are not amongst the regulations pre-accepted ones, it might also require the separate quality control from a different firm, which has their own multi-step quality control. It really puts your mind to ease a little bit more than if you were the sole responsible person for each project. All in all, I really like my job. Uh, the fact that every building is different and that some buildings will require a totally new solution that needs to be simulated and documented to fit the regulations makes it that you're constantly learning something new. There's also different routes to take as a fire engineer, but becoming a fire safety advisor was most likely the best fit for me personally, as I enjoy using my brain and even though it's mainly an office job, you also get to go out on site and see what the sentences that you write in the report actually mean. Another route that I would personally consider doing is experimental fire research, as you get to see more of what the different solutions, amongst other things, actually does firsthand. So during my bachelor thesis, we did multiple full-scale experiments and I had a lot of fun. So we did experiments using water curtain sprinklers, protecting windows towards an outdoor emergency path. So you can watch this playlist next if you're interested in that. It shows the whole process from gathering theory to finishing the actual experiments. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good one.